Hugh Jackman took two years off from the movies, and it was time well spent. He made his Broadway debut, won a Tony Award, and now he's back as one of Hollywood's busiest leading men. Jackman's already starred in three movies this year, added his voice to two animated films, and tomorrow, his very original drama, The Fountain, opens in theaters across the country. And Hugh Jackman is with us. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Great to see you. Thank you. You too, man. The, uh, I want to jump right into this movie, because The Fountain is not like a lot of movies I think almost anyone has, has seen. The best, the best description I heard of it is it's an experience. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't think of it as a movie, but almost like a piece of abstract art, right. like if you go to a museum, you don't spend hours, what is it? You just see what you feel about it. And this movie is a love story. It's very romantic. Yeah. And uh, I It play, takes place in three different times. Yes, I play, in a way, three different characters. One is a Spanish conquistador, one's a present-day psycho, uh, sorry, um, neuroscientist, and then a guy who's in the future traveling through space, 500 right. years in the future. So right. they're kind of the same person, but they're all different. But it's about this love story that endures over a thousand years. And I yeah. think the message is, ultimately, just uh, love is the most important thing. And, you know, as busy as we are in our life, take a moment to smell the roses, go for a walk. You when know? you're reading this script, because mm. this script ta takes place over centuries, <laughs> over this millennia. Yeah. And you see, this is this very passionate character. Yeah. How did, how did you, in your mind's eye, say, how do I give myself to this, to this character? It was by far the most challenging role I've had. Oh. And uh, it was, it's a gift for an actor. I read this and I went, I was so excited, nervous at the same time, because it, it's not often in movies you get a chance to, to do all that stuff, right. to really push yourself, to go, I mean, emotionally, I was probably as raw in this movie as I've ever been, yeah, you know. Yeah. And so it's a gift. And when you have someone like Darren Aronofsky, who I think will be a Kubrick, you know, he'll be remembered as one of the great directors. Yeah. When you have someone like him, you give your trust to him. I'm going to show a little clip right now from uh, the character who's the contemporary character. Yes. Who's in love with Rachel Weisz, yes. who is uh, dying of a terminal disease. And you're a scientist who may or may not be on the verge of a cure. And you share this scene with Ellen Burstyn. Let's take yeah. a look. You have to repeat the procedure. Get a confirmation. Confirmation that the tumor is unaffected. She'll be dead by the... She had a seizure. I'm so sorry. How's she doing? She's stable. Who's with her? She's alone? She needs to rest. Tell me, no one invents new drugs overnight. No one. You're not being rational. You can't fix everything. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. You are so laid bare in this in this mm. film. There, there's tears, buckets of tears <laughs> from one human being at the end of the, at the end of a day. At the end of shooting, what was it like? I, I mean, by halfway through the day, I remember one occasion. I was just in my trailer, lying on the floor. I got back at lunchtime, and I just laid. I was too like tired to right. to end. And then the knock on the door came after 45 minutes. Said, "All right, we're going to pick up where you left off." You know, this gorgeous scene. She you is. You know, so Rachel is extraordinary. Beautiful. Well. It, it, it's an incredibly hard thing to play someone who is about to die, yeah. but has come to terms with dying. I mean, it's, it's she's at peace. You're the one who's tormented. Well. And I, and I think we can all relate to that. Yeah. Um, but Dr. very hard to imagine actually fully coming to peace yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with dying. No, no, it's, it's, look, it's ultimately, even when I read it, it has some hard moments in it. But it really is very life-affirming and it's really romantic. It's a date movie, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about some of the other things going on because you're one of the, how many voices in, in Happy Feet? I just do one voice just in one Happy voice. Feet, yeah. But I haven't seen it, I have to confess. Yeah, it's a great movie. Everybody great in America fun. has seen it already. Yeah, it's a great movie. They came by the drillions. What are you yes. playing in Happy Feet? I, I, I actually play a character called Memphis. <laughs> he originally was called Elvis. <laughs> right. I play a penguin who thought he was Elvis, and I came back for my second session, and he was called Memphis. And I said, it's just got something to do with my accuracy and my impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not at all. And what's going on with Wolverine? Because uh, what, uh, Wolverine, all we're going to... All those movies have made over a billion dollars? Yeah, I'm really proud of those movies, and I can't wait to shoot this Wolverine movie. I'm, I'm greedy, basically, for my character, and so we're going we're gonna to shoot a movie in about, I'd say, about eight, nine months. And here was the one thing, as I was going through your cliff file, that jumped out at me. You've bought the rights to Carousel? That's right. Carousel, for me, is the greatest 
musical theatre work of all time, up there with West Side Story. And so I, I, we need to find a way to make it for a modern audience, but I think that music is amazing. I did it once at Carnegie Hall here with right. Audrey McDonald, and, and I've never forgotten it. It stays in my head, and so we've got to find a way to do it. Wow. You, I tell you what, it, it's Thanksgiving. What are you thankful yes. for? I'm thankful for my family and my health, and this Thanksgiving I will be in Egypt. As my son says, having turkey sandwiches on top of the Great Pyramids. Now that's a way to right? spend the holiday. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do Thanks, appreciate Harry. It.